Hi kids. So I'm here to read about butterflies. And this is waiting for wings. Because look, the butterflies have wings. Okay. And this is by Lois Elhert. Um, she is the author. She is the one who wrote the story. And she's also the illustrator, the one who uh, made the pictures. Ready? Waiting for Wings by Lois Ellert. Out in the fields, eggs are hidden from view. Can you find the eggs? Oh, you might be able to see some over here. Some little tiny eggs. Let's go searching through the plants. Oh. Clinging to leaves with butterfly glue. So the eggs are stuck to the backs of the leaves to the back of the leaves and almost like with, almost with glue, it's sticky. The butterflies put something sticky on there so that the eggs won't fall off of the leaves, even if they get wet or even if it's windy. Soon caterpillars hatch. Do you see the caterpillars? They creep and chew. So do you remember how our caterpillars have been creeping around and chewing and eating the leaves? So here it is. And look, does that look like our caterpillars? Yeah, it's got black and white and yellow stripes. This must be a monarch caterpillar. Each one knows what it must do. So look, there's a, a red and black caterpillar. It's black with red spots on it. And there's even another caterpillar that looks like it has two big eyes on it. So that, that way, if anything tries to come eat it, it gets scared away. Find a place where winds don't blow. Oh, so after a while, after they've eaten a lot and they've grown bigger, what do they do? This one is making a J shape. It's in the shape of the letter J. What do you think is going to happen next? It's stuck to the, uh, to the leaf by its like by the end of it, the tail, and it makes a J. Then make a case in which to grow. So it changes once it goes into its J shape, then it forms a case around it, and that's called the chrysalis. Oh, and you can see that the other ones, they made a chrysalis too. They each made their own little case, their own little chrysalis. Caterpillar changes now begin. So once they're in their chrysalis, something's going to change. The caterpillars are going to change the way they look. Body and wings take shape within. So he's still in the chrysalis, but look, it's starting to look a little bit different. It almost looks like a butterfly wing there. And here, you can kind of see, it looks almost like a head and wings. Oh, I think this one might have its head popped out of there. And this one too. 
It looks like the head is coming out of the chrysalis. When it's time, each case is torn. Wings unfold, new butterflies are born. Look at that. They take their wings out and their wings actually kind of spread out and dry. And then they have their butterfly wings. Their bodies have changed and they've grown wings. And this is a monarch butterfly. It's orange and black and white. It has the white spots over there. They pump their wings, get ready to fly. So first they have to flutter their wings, pump their wings and wait for them to be nice and dry uh, so that they can fly. Oh, look at these pretty butterflies. This one is yellow with some blue and red and it's outlined in black. And this one is orange and black and white. Then hungry butterflies head for the sky, looking for flowers with nectar to eat. So flowers make nectar, which is like almost like a sweet juice. And they do that because they want the, the butterflies to come there and help them make new seeds. So you can see this one is small and orange and black, and this one is big and it's yellow and black and it has the red and the blue on there and this is what it looks like from the side and this one i think um i don't know but it's brown with blue and different colors on it they catch a whiff of something sweet oh the nectar smells sweet to them they follow that fragrant scent of perfume. Have you ever smelled flowers? Do they smell sweet? That's how the butterflies know where to go. Until they find our garden in bloom. Look at all these blooming flowers. We've been waiting for wings. Do you ever wait around for butterflies? Do you go outside or you watch by the window and you see if any butterflies come by? We watch them circle and land on their feet. Oh, yep, they do have some legs. Do you remember butterflies are insects? So they have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. They land on their feet. Oh, and look, he's going to the flower. They unroll their tongues. So they have these long curly tongues that are like straws. And they unroll their tongues and begin to eat. So in the middle of the flower, that's where they suck the nectar from the flowers. They dip and sip. So they flutter from flower to flower, going and getting a little bit of nectar, sipping some nectar from each flower. Then fly away back home to the fields. They have eggs to lay. Do you remember? They started as an egg, didn't they? And now they're gonna go back and lay eggs of their own. And look at some of these different butterflies. So in this book, we saw the monarch butterfly and that's the kind that we have in my backyard that we've been observing. And this is what the monarch caterpillar looks like. 
And, oh, he's going to have a chrysalis that looks like this, a green chrysalis. And here was one of them from the book, a tiger swallowtail. How neat. And look, he was the caterpillar that was the big green caterpillar that looked like he had two red eyes on it. And over here, we have the painted lady. The painted lady sure is pretty. And uh, the painted lady caterpillar was the little purple caterpillar and made the purple chrysalis. And here, this one that I didn't know what it was at all is a buckeye, a buckeye butterfly. And you can see that came from the black caterpillar with the red spots. It changed into the buckeye bat, uh, butterfly, which looks kind of brown or green. Brown on the underside, so that way it can blend in with sticks and dead leaves. That way, things won't know to eat them. Oh, and look at all of the beautiful flowers. So the butterflies have the four wings. So they have four wings, one, two, three, and then there's another one back there, four. Some are in the front, some are in the back. And they have, do you remember insects? Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. So they have three body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. And then they have the six legs. And this one has antenna. Or, I mean, you know, uh, this kind of insect. And like most insects, they have wings. Just butterflies have the most beautiful wings. Okay. The end. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the book. I'll see you soon. Bye.